Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Jeff's Barbershop. We are in my hometown and we have Joe Santagato coming on the show. You guys think we're the same person? I truthfully don't even know anymore. Okay, get the f*** out. Get the f*** out of here. Get my co-host, your co-host. That's it. Nice. Just doubled up. We're good to go. Co-hosting the show now. Have you ever seen their stuff? No, I haven't. It's fine. Do you think we look alike? Um, Everyone on the internet always talks about how me and Jeff look alike, but we really just look like like a before and after picture, like kind of. Yeah, I could I could definitely see it a little bit. If I sure. was like twenty five pounds hot lighter, than you, though. oh dude, like easily hot. That's well. Now that I got my my hair botched up, is that after the blind girl cut your hair? Yeah, yeah. it's not terrible. Yeah, I, I would have thought it'd be way worse. Well, they have better senses when they can't see, like their yeah. hearing and their, their taste. Sense of feel is very good. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably why. There was a time there where everyone was tagging me and like everything you posted, like, I thought this was you. Yeah, I didn't even know if we were the same person and, until now. Uh, I actually have a, a 23andMe test, so we're gonna have you jerk off in the bucket. Is that old You wanna do it? You can do I'll it use after. one of those. Yeah, I can do it after. I'll just like in that. Might as well. What do you wanna do with your hair? Same thing? What's the same thing? Yeah, this is the first time we met. I could tell the cut you got last time. Okay, yeah, then can we just do that? Like, I'm worried about you just like shaving a f***ing line down the center of my head. Like there's crazy shit that happens, like I'm scared. This kid like gets set on fire. Hold on, he set you on fire once? I've been set on fire a few times, yeah. Yo, I just guessed that there was someone who got set on fire. It's a miracle he's even still alive. Yeah. Good for you. You Thank seem you. like a durable dude. Yeah, yeah, you seem very yeah. durable. Yeah. You can take some fire. No, I mean, I'm pretty durable. Yeah. I sit through all your videos. So. <laughs> yeah. Durable as shit, man. It's good. Yeah, it's good. good. Give it to them. Like Let them know they're New Yorkers. They can handle yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Can handle it. I almost, mm -hmm. I almost feel more comfortable. Like if you be yeah. nice to me, I'm gonna yeah, have you to can leave. Like call them a piece of shit. Spit that's how we. Face. That's how we bond here. Yeah. yeah. Just like spit at me or yeah. something. Don't actually spit at me though. It's a little weird. Yeah. Is that what you, you spit on each other? No, we don't spit on each other. You want me to give you like a low fade or something? Just yeah, so yeah. Just you could fade. That. You could fade the sides, and then we'll just take some off the top, and then we'll just you know we'll in a bucket and we'll get the out of here. Oh my god. You're gonna look great. Your hair's guaranteed to be shorter. I'll just take that. So you were actually a barber at one point? I used to work with this guy. Nick was like my big brother growing up. He's a real piece of shit. He would give me all the wrong advice. Too. Why do you hate LA so much? I don't hate the city as much as I hate the people that when I went there and had to hang out with, I was like, well, these people are kind of awful here. And we went out to LA to shoot with like influencers, quote unquote. And these people who had like 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, they'd be like, yeah, just talk to my assistant. You know, I'm running around and whatever. And they think they're actors. And I'm like, oh my God, dude, like fucking relax. Like you're from LA. What do you I'm do for LA. work? I work at Wonder Bread. I haven't seen a loaf of Wonder Bread in fucking years. Ezekiel Bread's the one that's rising to the top at What's the moment. That? Ezekiel Bread, cause it's healthy. But Wonder Bread has too much sugar in it. Okay, f off, dude. I liked you. When did you like when me? When he stepped in through the door and he wore the same shoes I wore. Yeah. I didn't know he was gonna be here. He's my co-host, but he's just coincidentally here. I didn't buy him a plane ticket or anything like that. I, like I didn't it. even tell him that we were doing this. He found out from a camera operator over there. Word on, you're doing great, by the way. Yeah, Perfect set good. etiquette. You haven't made a peep, which is insane for this guy, because he f***s up every <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Yo, should I go buy a bunch of Wonder Bread and have someone deliver like 300 Lose the Wonder, Wonder Bread, Bread joke. Yeah. Lose it, lose it, lose it. <laughs> Remember what we discussed, Walmart version of Jeff. Yeah. Come on, insult him. But you, him could, you could try, but I'm on that. Man. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to get him, but you can get him. You don't. I don't need your help, man. No, no if you want, I'll help you. I'll even help you finish that acai that's left on your sweatshirt. I just want you to eat one piece. Is that, eat it for me. Is that, you, you guys should split it. He got an acai bowl before this. He asked the guy to put bacon in it. <laughs> can I get an acai bowl with bacon? <laughs> I think that looks good. Okay, remember what we discussed. Okay, it's all fun and games here. This is how we bond. <laughs> Dude, are you gonna yak? I heard that. But you guys got a really good podcast. You talk about some important topics. I saw you did the, the ones about the racist stuff. Which yeah, well, yeah, we went racist. Yeah. You oh. were doing movie reviews, and you were like, "This movie, American History X, is racist." Oh yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, that movie's pretty racist. It is very racist. <laughs> well documented. Pretty well, yeah, it's pretty well known for being yeah. racist. He actually looks like. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you guys watch it together? Yeah. <laughs> looped up naked next to each other. Okay, why do you have to make everything so... I don't so know, I just try to be witty. And I'm He's a comedian. Like, I'm just like worried, you know? I don't know what my head looks like right now. I try not to look into the mirror. You're gonna love it. Look at this. Eh? 
Yeah, that makes me feel better. You're fucking guaranteed his, shorter his, hair. His merch. So now I feel I feel right you're at guaranteed. home. Guaranteed. You can I get, get him on Fanjoy. Are you on Fanjoy? Fan, I'm not on Fanjoy, which is crazy because. What like, are you on Scamjoy? Scamjoy. I'm not on that either. But Fanjoy probably Don't laugh makes hard bank. On. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> you ever been arrested? No, I haven't. Yeah, you guys I'm never been arrested? I've never been arrested. I'm a bitch. I've never been arrested too. No, you've been arrested. Dude, I'm, I didn't want to. I don't want to interrupt again, but I just feel like. He brought he, the way he brought that question up. He was trying to provoke you, mm. and no. he, you ate the bait. It's okay. No. So, no. hard on. Look, yeah. he's a young Scorsese. Look at that. Look at him. He's been focused. How's that shot time. look? Are you focused on my face? Is this my good side? Hire him young, so they stay loyal. Child <laughs> labor. Yeah, that kid's a big <laughs> thirteen-year-old. I was like tiny when I was thirteen. <laughs> you ever take steroids? No, man. I have never taken neither steroids. You you, neither no, I took steroids once. Yeah, Danny did yeah. a cycle. Okay, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen right now, and remember this is a haircut show. Okay. The only cooks should be me. You just put bacon in an acai bowl. Did you actually do that? I did. Are you the main host on your show? Yeah. Do you fund the production? I do fund the production. <laughs> I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> me too. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I speak your language. Yeah, We're the you same. Know. You know what we I'm saying? We come from say. the same womb. We're cut from the same cloth. Mm -hmm. You know, you just got like a more chiseled cloth. Let's try something quick. I want to FaceTime my mom. And, and I'm just gonna be you? You just be like, hey, Ma, and see how long we can get her for. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ma. Oh! <laughs> um, I heard you were Jeff. Yeah, no, I am Jeff. I'm getting a haircut from my friend who's got the tattoos and has probably killed a couple people, but, you know, I just wanted to run it by you. Did Mom. Did you get a late in the past day or so, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom. Jeff, what's going on? Do you, do you got anything you want to tell me about this guy? Is he my brother? Thank you, Ma. I was trying to tell him for years now. But you know, since he got all the plastic surgery, we look a little different now, but if, you know, back then. That's not true, I don't have any plastic surgery, Mom. Show baby pictures of me now. I didn't know she was gonna be disrespectful like that. I think that was amazing, and like, I mean, I think I'm obviously, I got some more weight than you, but you also may just be like super skinny. How much do you weigh? 180. I'm 6'1", 170. I'm a little more stretched out than you are. Hey, this guy's talking about the size of Why, you got a big fat no, he's got a very small ass. He's got a he's got a petite ass. Yeah, he's got a very non-existent ass. So what is it like? A, it's like a teardrop. It like comes inward. It just, okay, it's, this is it's very no. We need to see this. It's an uncomfortable just, question. We need you to see this ass. Bro. That shit is petite. <laughs> that shit is petite. I'm packing something in the front though. He just put it in my face. Yeah, Good for you. You look like Jonah Hill. Like kind of like before that, like Moneyball Jonah Hill, just with Yeezys on. You know what you look like. Give it you, look to like, me. you look like a fat cowboy. You look like every refugee ever. I respect that. I like that. I but this. you, but you yourself, you're not the thinnest kid I've ever seen either. Tell him more of those fat cowboy yeah, jokes. That on. was good. You Give had a good start. Me. Don't get fucking piece of shit. Hey, fat. Fuck, I lost 20 pounds. You fucking need to lose 300 pounds. Bro. So much hostility, man. Me and Jeff are trying to fall in love. You guys are ruining this for me. Dude, you have Uggs, lugs on. No, you said. No, you have lugs on. It looks like you robbed Santa Claus. Yeah. I, I really don't know what lugs are. I was at Christmas two days ago, and you look poorer than before that. <laughs> You didn't get hey, hey Bardon, welcome to the big leagues. Okay, oh, this is a barber shop. You look like you just came back from my chemical romance concert. Is that Galifianakis where you stole his entire stick? <laughs> I've been saying that for the longest time, and I'm glad somebody else finally brought it to your attention. Why the f does this fat ass keep talking, bro? I, I made more money than you. Yeah? It's possible. Yeah. He's in the vlog squad. All right, well, the haircut's done. There's only yeah. one thing left to do that is jerk off in the bucket. I gotta jerk off to find out, you know. And then burn this place down, collect insurance money. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just look the same, but you gave me a nice fade. I mean, you're not lying, the, the hair is shorter. Well, it was nice meeting you. Was it? I'll probably but, never see you again. They're in love, I think. Because it just seems that way. <laughs>
just wanna go to Burning Man and suck my own dick on a spaceship. Yeah, I came to Burning Man on UFO.